Hello, this is Heather Hoffman, and today I'm excited to share a card with you using um, a beautiful layering floral stamp set from Unity Stamp Company called Step Out Peony. It's got different combinations of leaves and flowers in three-step stamping, and I'm going to show you some tricks that I discovered um, for lining them up. Since they're red rubber instead of clear, it takes a little more um, finesse just to get them lined up the right way. And I'm using my Misty, and you'll notice on the stamp set there's some little notches on there and I'm using a black Copic marker. Now I haven't, um, when I tested this on my Misty, it seemed to work just fine. Um, I can't, I'd say test it on yours, make sure that, that you're okay with it, but I'm gonna clean it off in between. And by putting three little dots where those notches are, I can line up each of the layers of the floral stamps. So I'm starting off with the more solid stamp and my lightest color. And then you notice I can line up those three notches, go to my next darkest color, stamp that over the top and it lines it up um, pretty much perfectly where I would like it to be lined up. Um, this is a, also a great time if you wanted to make um, a whole set of cards. Once you've lined up the stamp set where you want, um, you could stamp each layer one at a time without having to move them and they'd all line up perfectly and it would be a great way to work them all out together. Um, now when I've, um, now I was deciding, at first I was gonna use the leaf with the stem on it and I decided the way I'd stamp that that I instead just wanted to use the leaf image to go with it. So I played a little um, with where to fit it. Of course, it's gonna be reversed on there. Excuse the top of my head there and my hair poking in. Um, it was kind of hard to see where I was lining it up. So I picked my spot. Now to clean off those little Copic markers, I just quickly grabbed my colorless blender, scribbled it on and wiped it off uh, with a damp cloth real quick. So I'm putting the tiniest dots on I can and it just marks the spot. Um, a dry erase marker would probably work really well. I just didn't happen to have one handy. So um, I did that first stamp and I, <laughs> I moved on too quick. I forgot to mark my little dots on there. So I was able to, that image was fairly easy to uh, line up pretty close and get where I wanted. And then I put the next layer on and pick it up with my Misty and line it up. Uh, the leaf image there only has two notches. So in my brain, as I was trying to transition it, I didn't want to get it upside down. So I just put each um, image kind of laid it over where I thought it would go and then see that tiny little bit of an adjustment just helps get it lined up just perfectly and again I started with my lightest color and built up to my darkest um, as I did each layer now originally I'd been doing this as a top folding card but um, since I changed the way I laid it out um, at this point I just kind of changed my plan a little bit so I trimmed off that panel trimmed it slightly smaller than an A2 card um, with my paper trimmer and then I'm gonna do um, I'm gonna add my sentiment on there and then do a little extra stamping to frame the image and the sentiment as I have on there and then mount it on a basic card base afterwards. Now I'm using the sentiment from the same stamp set. I really, I really think it's such a fun sentiment and anyone who has a garden can kind of identify with it. So I've lined up my sentiment, stamping it quickly in black and um, then I'm gonna pull that off, pull that out and here's where I'm gonna add a little extra around the image. I'm gonna get the basic outline leaf image um, that I used as the last layer on that leaf and I'm using just a soft gray ink and only that one layer and just stamping off around the edges kind of to form a frame. Um, I'm using just a piece of white uh, printer paper just to protect my mat so I don't have to clean off my paper and, and I don't accidentally get smudges of ink um, that I'm going to dip my fingers in and make a mess with. So I just angle that in a few different ways around the outside edges. Again it just kind of helps frame the frame that center area and add a little interest around the outside edges. And then I didn't end up using it for the centers, but there's um, a couple little dot, dot stamp sets that work really well for the centers of the flowers. And I'm gonna use those just to add a little more texture around the edges. And I'm using um, another shade of a gray ink and just turning that each time I do it so the dots appear a little more random and not so uniform. It's a little hard to see on the video, but you'll be able to see it on the finished card. It just adds, uh, it's almost like ink splatters without adding the ink splatters. And then I mounted it on a soft gray card base to finish it off. Thanks so much for coming by. Hope you have a wonderful day.